Besides the severe air pollution, China now has to confront the next big challenge, polluted and dwindling water supplies. China is facing a whole set of water challenges. Uh, one is uh, water pollution and the other is water shortage. Official data shows uh, uh, more than half of our rivers and lakes uh, got quite badly polluted. Two thirds of our cities are in, are in shortage of water. China is the factory of the world and um, exporting all these cheap products. But in the meantime, all this waste dumped in our backyards. We are paying a huge cost. Ma Jun is the founder of an independent environmental institute that works with exposing companies who violate environmental laws. He's one of the country's leading environmental activists and has long focused on China's greatest environmental challenge, access to clean water. Urbanization is going on in a massive way and uh, uh, millions upon millions of people are pouring into the cities and, uh, and they need more water. Due to this uh, water shortage, we have many rivers uh, and lakes running dry. Also, our, our aquifer have been exhausted in a, in, in a shocking speed. <laughs> 300 million rural residents still lack the access to safe drinking water. Now when小时候啊，那是六几年的时候，卖山币全是杏树，甜的苦的，主要是做油料，每年一到夏天到六七八月份就捡杏核，卖油卖卖杏核，主要是靠这收入，现在都死了，都旱死了，你看，干透了。it is not only the rural farmers who suffer from a lack of water. In the capital of Beijing, the groundwater is sinking at a rate of roughly one meter each year. The situation is critical. To draw attention to the water problem, a group of Beijing residents meet every Saturday to walk along the city's polluted rivers. I参加这个乐水型的活动已经快一年了 你看那颜色，看了吧？这个主要是粪为主的，就是冲厕所的水。主要是这边小区吧，那一片的房子。你看了，特别特别脏的，没有经过任何处理的。从这往下全部都是直排。这条河呢，它叫凉水河，是北京
Hello, it's the IP. Carl speaking. How can I help you? This is the uh, a, a national pollution database that we created. Uh, we integrate that with uh, with digital map. So we call that China Pollution Map. Uh, these are the records of those corporations uh, who have uh, have been found breaking the environmental rules and standards. The number of all this uh, uh, all these records have been extended to over ninety thousand. Many foreign companies uh, they said they come to China. They can they sort of argue that uh, you know they don't know who are polluting who are not. They just buy from the cheapest. But now with this database, there's no more excuse. You know, type in the keyword of any given supplier, they will instantly know who are polluting, who are not. Many foreign companies, they come to China and other developing countries. Uh, they care only about the price and the quality. Uh, they don't care about the environmental performance. As a result, they, they actually push those uh, local suppliers to cut corners on environmental protection uh, to try to lower the cost to win the contract. He asked us to put him in touch with Telefonica and also with Sprint. And Sprint to do with the battery issue. Did we they, do they, that? Yeah, we did that a, yeah. few, a few months ago. They had specific questions about it, mm -hmm. and we passed on about the recycling of batteries, and we passed yeah. it on to him. Wait. I think the, the real problem is not the lack of uh, uh, technology or even money. It's, it is the lack of motivation. You know, the motivation should have come from enforcement of laws and regulations. It should have come from environmental litigation. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, due to the, uh, the fact that uh, most of the local government officials still put GDP growth rate ahead of environmental protection, as a result, uh, you know, many companies choose to pay fines year after year without solving their problem because the cost of violation is actually lower than the cost of compliance.